Peace for everybody back with another video. This is Jill Biden tells Vogue that her husband healed this nation. Says people can breathe again. Uh, Creepy Joe did not heal this nation. He only made it worse. Alright, he goes around and says the N-word. He swears this and that. And she's lying saying all that Creepy Joe healed the nation. Uh, no, he did not. And look at this. Right on the cover of Vogue magazine that, uh, that Melaniana refused to be on because of the way Vogue treated her so badly. So they put this thing on the Vogue. And look at her clothes. She looks like she's wearing a, a, a curtain for a dress. First Lady Jill Biden made a lot of interesting remarks in her August cover story for Vogue, including that her husband healed this nation. Biden also said that people can breathe again now that Donald Trump is out of the office. So now she's making all these stupid remarks about, oh, how interesting, in her interesting cover story for Vogue, including that her husband healed this nation. No, creepy Joe did not, because he sold our country to the, ch to the Chinese. That's what he did. He sold our country to the CCP. And all you Biden supporters, you got what you wanted. You wanted this country destroyed. It's done. You wanted the police defunded. It's done. You got what you wanted. And patriots, you've got to stand up against these mobs because they're taking this thing too far this time. And she's happy that Donald, Tr Donald Trump is out of the office. Really? Don't be so surprised. Let's, for example, that he does come back. And now she said, oh, I can breathe and that people can breathe again. Uh, excuse me, but the, the um, clown show of the Biden administration, they've been suffocating us. And they're still doing it. And they're getting away with it. During the campaign, I felt so much anxiety from people. They were scared. Joe Biden told Vogue, or Joe Biden, I'm sorry. When I travel around the country now, I feel as though people can breathe again. Uh, no, people cannot breathe again because the creepy Jill is, is not doing anything. She's forcing people to get the jabs. That's what she's doing. Oh, you got to take this. You got to take that. These jabs are not approved by the you-know-who. They are bioweapons. And there are evidence of it being a bioweapon. And look at this. I mean, who's, oh, this is Vogue Magazine's Twitter account. Look at her dress. It looks like curtains or tablecloths she's wearing. This is ridiculous. You want something like this? Please spare us the details. Jill, get a freaking life. I think that's part of the reason Joe was elected, she added. Oh, so now that's part of the reason that creepy Joe was elected? Really? When he's over here tearing our country up, he's having Antifa slash BLM, because you can't forget them. They're burning cities down and killing people, allegedly? That joke? That creepy joke? Uh, no, Jill, you need to go pack your bags and go back to your country where you came from because you sure ain't American. People wanted someone to come in and heal this nation, not just from the pandemic, scamdemic, I call it, which I feel Joe did by, you know, getting shots in everybody's arms, but also he's just a calmer president. He lowers the temperature, she continued. Uh, no, he doesn't. Creepy Joe has sundowners. Alright, he does. He does have sundowners. 
He's also got Alzheimer's. He doesn't know where he's at. You don't know what to read. So they um, tell him what he can and cannot read. They are the handlers of Creepy Joe. They say, oh, well, you got to read this. Nope, don't read that. Oh, you got to read this. Nope, don't read that. And here, Creepy Jill is going around doing a tour of getting shots in everybody's arm. Uh, no, not everybody wants the shot. I don't want it. It cannot be forced on anybody because you can file lawsuits against them for forcing you to take the jabs that you don't want to take. It is called a bioweapon for a reason. Biden has repeatedly claimed credit for the rapid coronavirus vaccines, mm -hmm. which were ordered by then President Trump. Yeah, well, uh, how, you know, Creepy Joe should not be taking credit for this. He should not be taking credit for this. The former president had um, Operation Warp Speed in there because if Creepy Joe, he would have had these things done in five, ten years. But actually, the former president had it done in nine months. That is the shortest time ever. And if that's not enough, I don't know what is. But people are dying from these things. And nobody is listening. The fawning profile concluded by gushing about how the first lady is surprised that people pay attention to her fashion choices. Uh, the fashion choices that creepy Jill is are totally insane. There is nothing pretty about her her fashion choices. Melania is a, a million times better than Creepy Jill. Melania can outdress Creepy Jill in anything. That's how much respect people have for Melania. It's kind of surprising, I think, how much commentary is made about where, I mean, what I wear or if I put my hair in a scrunchie. Oh, so now Jill puts her hair in a scrunchie. <laughs> Please. I put my hair up or the stocking thing. Fishnet gate? Well, oh, hey, it sounds good to me. Fishnet gate? That sounds good to me. It's amazing how much... People pay attention to every little detail. Uh, nobody's paying attention to Creepy Jill. Then she adds, just for the record, and they weren't fishnets. Uh, last time I checked, they are fishnets on her legs that she was wearing with the hideous dress that I, I posted yesterday with her side by side with her and Melaniano. They weren't lace. They were very pretty stockings. Oh, they weren't lace now, huh? Then what the heck was Creepy Jill wearing then? Go to my video from last night and you'll see that Creepy Jill was wearing fishnet stockings. I'm not kidding. She really was wearing a fishnet stockings. And now she's saying, oh, they're... They weren't lace up to me they are. Why else would she be wearing stuff like that? I mean, this woman is like what in her fifties, sixties, sixty something years old or whatever. And she's wearing lace? Really? Creepy Jill needs to leave that stuff for the younger people, not for her. It is disgusting what this woman is doing. She does not love our country. She does not care about any of us. She only cares about destroying this country along with Creepy Joe. That's all she cares about. And she's got to make a 
fascist statement on Vogue magazine. Really? This is one hideous woman I ever saw in my life. And she calls herself a doctor? Yeah, right. This ain't no doctor. So sick of these losers that get everything their way. Leave your comments below. I am out.